So we're taking a look at the game I got the other day. This is So Dead by Calvin Nelson. Uh, this is a five player set and expandable as you can see down here, up to 20 players. Really simple to play. If you watch my review video, you'll see where I had some pet peeves with the game, but overall it is a pretty fun game. The turn order card is pretty simple. You will first set up your map. The map is gonna be set up with six of the eight locations that come with the game, one of which has to be the hospital here. And then you will then put a stack of five cards around each location. This card is for every time you kill another player, you get a victory point, and each time you get victory points, you just rotate the card to reflect the number you have for a max of four. Same thing with your level up cards. It'll go underneath your character card, and most characters have an ability. It's the same on both sides, but some characters don't have that there as well. Anyway, so every time you uh, equip some supplies to level yourself up, you'll just rotate the card to reflect it, and the max amount of levels you can gain is four. All this does is add extra points to your roll value when you do a combat. So on the turn, every first everyone will simultaneously roll their D6, and this is gonna tell you where to start. So the hospital is one, so you will go two, three, and let's say both players roll that, we'll say something different. So one player rolls that, the other player rolls a five, so they will start right over here. Then you'll all roll your dice simultaneously. Everybody gets one die, and then you'll move first. So player one will have a three. So the one to three says you move left, the four to six says you move to the right. So they'll go to the left. This person will also do the same thing, go to the left with their two. And since there's no one at the same location as you, you'll then pick this hand up. You'll choose the cards you want out of the hand. And once you take the cards you want, let's go ahead and give you a little more view there. You'll, you'll put that into your hand and this is an attack card. These are uh, defense cards or whatever the case is. Once you put it in your hand, you'll put the stack back down and then the game will continue. Now you'll keep doing that until you end up moving into the same location as someone. But before you do that stuff, you'll move. If there's no one in the same space as you, there will be no combat. Then you'll loot from that stack there. Then you'll trigger the apocalypse. Starting at one, you'll roll the die. And whatever this tells you, one, two, three, that's the one you'll flip over. If someone's on that location, they'll move to an adjacent location and then zombies will overrun it. Now this is a uh, space that you can no longer move into for the remainder of the game. So now you're down to these five spaces. So the board is effectively shrinking, forcing players to be in the same spot as, as each other at some point. After that, you'll get equipped supplies, which means that from your starter hand, or whatever you've got drawn, you'll take five of these cards. You might have a small supplies, and when you equip it at that point, you put it in your discard pile and gain one level, and that's what this card appears for. Now you also have a first aid kit, and if you get killed in a combat and you have this in your hand, you can then play it to save yourself and you won't lose the combat. Or you can play a first aid kit. Some characters have an ability to search your deck for this to find it, but you'll always start with five cards and then at the end of the turn you'll discard everything you have, draw up a new five, and then whatever you loot will go into that as well. Once you do all these steps here, you'll refresh the map and draw a new hand. So you'll basically, if anyone looted from a location, you'll put a card back in that location for them and start all over. And then you'll you know, just kind of draw new cards. This will continue this way all the way around until the map is completely overrun with zombies. And eventually you are in the last place with another player. Now, if there's a combat situation uh, somewhere along the lines, all you do for combat is very simple. You play one red card, one blue card, or two blue or two red. The trick with combat, though, is that it only counts the value of up to one red or up to one blue. So you can play two of the same ones, but only one of them account where you play two different ones. Add those numbers together. Whoever has the highest number wins. Now, you also factor in your points here for that win as well. If there's still a tie for that uh, victory, you'll see whoever has the most victory points from defeating other players or you'll roll a d6 to determine high roll wins. There's also things like your high card. If you play the high card, then you can remove yourself from combat, and there's some other effect cards in here as well that let you remove yourself from combat and loot in the same turn, but if you're in combat and you just hide, you can't loot. So once the map is shrank down and everyone is uh, forced into the same spot, or even if you're just forced into the same spot, then that's pretty much game over when the last man is standing, and that's, pretty much how it plays. Again, if you want to see kind of what my rubs were about this game that I kind of wish were a little bit better designed, check out that review video on it. I will do a review video on all the games that I've got. 
but I want to kind of introduce you guys to him first. So in the meantime, I got more coming. Thanks for watching.